Detective Jones. Jim Jones exposes an alleged rap by ex Dipset member Jaja. Says he set up his best friend Mel Murder addresses WAC 100. Also, since I'm a Dipset, I don't want to say I'm an expert and I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Jaja is not part of Dipset. I'm pretty sure she was Bird Gang. Unless I'm tripping. But my Dipset memory is saying Jaja was not Dipset. And she was rocking when he was doing his Birdman sh uh, Bird shit, Bird Gang shit that was separate from all that. Uh, Joel's had Skull Gang camera at that point, stayed dipset. That's when the whole crew broke up and other dudes came in. Like, But there was just more people that kept coming in around that time. And the crew ended up splitting into three. So again, I don't believe Jaja was part of Dipset. She thinks she's Bird Gang, but we'll see. Uh, she said that he set up Mer Mel Murder. I'm assuming, yeah, when he was telling him, you got a super duper upa uka violate 6 9 He was talking all that shit about 6 9 on the wide tap. This is probably going to be our last video for the day because I got to actually start getting my shit together. But let's end it with this. You guys know how much I love Jim Jones in this channel. Big idol of mine, dip set, big shit of mine. You guys even saw me post up pictures with Jim Jones last year with the knockout. Uh, Joel Santana smoked. I can't feel my face with him. So I was honored to be in the room. Now let's see what they were saying about Uncle Jimmy. Jimmy? Detective Jones, people at Splash Brand do not f with no informants. I did four years in the feds, homie, because I ain't snitch. You set your best friend up on a wiretap. See? Eh, is that really setting up your best friend if you're just talking shit with your best friend and it happens to be tapped? It's not like he did it on purpose. Like, yo, get him to say this. We're going to record it. Like, that's different. It kind of looked like Jim Jones just talking shit. Bro, if you recorded a conversation with me and my boys during an argument, when uh, one of my mans called me that there's some heat, called me that there was some heat with somebody else and then we vetting it. You know, you know, you know. Think about your conversations. If one of your day ones or one of your people call you and y'all wilding out on the phone like, yo, you got to you gotta smack this kid up when you get it. We've said even probably crazy as shit. So are you really setting up your man or are you just talking? If he knew that it was being, it was a tap line and he continued to like engage him to say certain shit, that's different, but that's not what happened. So, Eh, eh. This is already starting off like Shorty's just a little bit angry about Jim Jones and how everything laid out because it sounds like she did four years in prison. Whack 100 and Takashi, they don't got receipts like that because they really don't know. I know. Jimmy? Detective Jones? Peace, worlds M. Rex. You know what's crazy? I was like, yo, what's she gonna talk about for eight minutes? Nah, it's somebody reacting. No disrespect to your channel, bro. I don't wanna just take it, take your shit. Shout outs to your channel, shout outs to you. I don't got time to hear you talk for eight minutes. I'm gonna skip through it. I just wanna hear what Shorty had to say. It's called Mr. Irk TV. <laughs> I sound like Swamp Stories when he was trying to say Shy K. Sha Ek, Sha Ek. Yo, them white boys gotta stay away from the broke drill videos if you don't know what's going on. You gotta do, you gotta do your Googles before you start making videos, bro. He called that boy Shot Eck. <laughs> and I like Swamp Story. But you done barked up the wrong trees, you. If you think. He barked up the wrong tree. Is he beefing with Shorty? Because I don't even know who Jaja is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And I love Dipset, which is crazy for me to say. And I'm thinking again, she's Bird Gang. Bird Gang had like a whole bunch of other people that was on there. That's when that whole Max B shit happened and he was doing his own shit away from camera and everything when they started beef. I'm finna put in all this work and debt, like 100,000 finances. Dumped another 200,000 buying equipment, merchandise, trademarks, attorney, legal fees, all this shit. And if you think. I'm just gonna let you just come and just take my shit because you owe me money. You know what I mean? You know why? Told hit maker the chop. You I told you guys it was, it was about money. Every time there's some random shit like this, I knew it had something to do with money. I was like, this is just random. This is super random. Super random to come to us in the internet. So it sounds like he took something and he's trademarking it. Is it the weed we were just talking about? The knockout or some shit? Or is it the vamp life? What's going on? You go cool. You know what I mean? Vamp life been around longer than four this years though. So I'm sure. Tracks like $150,000, $100,000, $75,000. You no good got bro. You ain't got the motherfucker to be getting this nigga back no more than hundred fifty thousand. How many tracks he done gave you? So you know what I'm saying? You're on Rod the Gazi. We ain't recruiting for that. Talking about you got an album called I Am. And I own I Am Me. Been saying this since 2006, seven, eight, five. And here you go. Why, Jim? See what I'm saying? Like why? The people that Splash Brand do not f with no informants. I did. Oh, there you go, Jaja Splash. I'm assuming Splash Brand. Is that some shit that he's trying to back up or trying to take from her? I'm super confused on who she even is. I can't even lie. To you. Four years in the feds, homie, because I ain't snitch. You set your best friend up on a wiretap. See, WAC 100 and Takashi, they don't got receipts like that because they really don't know. I know. Second of all, you don't dress yourself. That whole rock and roll phase that had it, that was popping and had everybody. With the belts and all that shit, that didn't come from you, Jimmy. Detective Jones, tell the people who really dressed you. Tell the people. 
I hope it's not her. I'm not saying that I'm hating on her drip. I'm just saying it's not for me. And I can only see nipples up. And I'm just like, eh, eh. It's just not my style. It's just screaming 06. It seems like she's still in that year that she went in. Will you splash me? Can I be a part of my situation? I don't give a f Much respect to her. Nah, because you talking about you did a video. That, that's not even your concept. You know you don't make concepts. See what I'm saying? 15, 20, something, 15, 12 years. You ain't never started talking about no splash until Nick started splashing. You damn sure ain't said no splash. Feel me? Now all of a sudden, see my sh starting to get light. All these other rap niggas are starting to say splash. And now you want a piece of the motherfucking pop. No, Jim. No. Motherfucking no. 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 I I guess I'm, it's crazy because we talk about drip on this channel. So is Splash God or something? Is her brand blowing up in hip hop? And Jim's trying to take a piece of it through the back. That's why she was talking now. It makes more sense about trademarks and all that shit she was spending her money on to make sure people wasn't able to take it. It's a little confusing on why. No, no, no. Where your Splash really came from? Who really put you on there? See what I'm saying? Now you dried up, 50 years old, not a capo, use a deacon. You can go to church, pull your pants up, sit your ass down somewhere. Feel me like. Now you wanna come over here fucking with me. I don't bother you. I ain't never tried to use you, your name. I walked away from that shit. I don't want no parts of it. I never did. I never was looking for you. See what I'm saying? See, your problem is, is that you don't know that you're not the talent. The people around you have not told you this. That's not the gift that guy has given you. This is the reason why you fail, my nigga. You have every resource in the world. Artists pray, wish, dream, hope, sell a soul. You don't know that you're not the talent. The people around you. All right, bro. I'm not going to lie. This shit is a lot of nothing. Like, shorty, what? get to it. Something that is on you. Call my man. It's the what's rat, inside of you. And it's not like you just mad. It's the life that bro. God gives you. You don't have that, Jimmy. It's a genocidal quad. You don't got that. You are heartless. You so it seems like she watched way too many J Prince videos. Like, why am I getting female J Prince about all the resources? Nigga, it took me one record every time. One record. It don't take me motherfucking five, six, seven, eight goddamn hours to make a hit. One time, nigga. And niggas jumped on that shit. See what I'm saying? Like, you don't ride here line. You didn't put out, you know, how many albums? Flopped. No billboard charts. No nothing. Because you don't got it. That's not your angle. See what I'm saying? Like, you got to understand your angle. That's not your, a business mogul at this point. Because you know how to finesse people. But no, you think you're an artist. You're not good, nigga. You don't got no talent. And about your splat. She's bugging Jim Jones is nice. Pants up, go sit your ass down, so go to church. I'm talking about day. Nigga, you was motherfucking day. Ain't nobody else day said. Yo, Jimmy's really trying to take that brand, though. That's insane. Like, bro, Jimmy, I got a better brand you could burn me on. Like, what's going on? Nothing about you splashing and all you, nigga. This is you. Why part? Now, you know what I'm doing? 6,050 fucking push-ups and sit-ups on the streets, corners of New York. That shit didn't work for you either, Jim. Now you want to talk about splashing, splash. All right, man. At the end of the day, what I got from this was she proved nothing to say Jimmy was a rat. Sound like she's disgruntled and mad that he's trying to take her t-shirt brand. That's what it sounds like. I'm mad that I just watched that.